Hi everyone, I'm Ann from Ann Makes, and this is Snowball. You want to say hi, Snowball? <laughs> Snowball's like, yeah, I will say hi when I feel like it. Um, <laughs> so today, Snowball and I have a Dollar Tree video to share with you, and I just thought Snowball would like to show off her bling from Dollar Tree, her little shiny new collar. Um, maybe she'll let me do, show you again. There we go. See? Oh, look at that. All sparkly and pink. <laughs> it's like, forget it, man. I'm not going on camera. <laughs> so, yeah, today at Dollar Tree haul time. <laughs> Cat fur included. So, I have a lot of stuff behind me um, <laughs> from September. From several stops at Dollar Tree. Uh, and it's like I had to go several times to find new things. And some days I would go and there wasn't anything new. Or there was just one thing. So I just waited to pile it up. Uh, and that's what there is behind me. So uh, let's start with one of the new things I saw being hauled by other people. They have some really cute new bubble magnets. And they have so many pretty styles, but I I chose this one because of the travel theme. I like this airplane. And yeah, so I got that one. Hey, Snowball. <laughs> there weren't any with cats. I found some new bags at Dollar Tree. Can't wait to show them to you. Uh, they have the Mickey, 90 years of Mickey. And I'm so happy they didn't put the staples in this one. They put the tag. So that's cute. On the side, it's black. That. You going, Snowball? See you later. And we've got a Minnie Mouse one. Minnie, since 1928. So I, I really like this um, original vintage retro Minnie Mouse look. I think it's really cute. And then... I've been looking for items in this print and I they had a bag. I not crazy about the red side. Why they would put red instead of a pink or a purple or blue or I did or a black even? Like I don't know, weird. But anyway, look at that. The only thing is why did you put staples, dollar dollar tree? Why? I hate those. So anyway. Uh, yeah, I got this and I know Janet you already got me one my dear friend Janet in Indiana I know she found one for me already, but that's okay. I can use more than one I would be very glad very happy to have more than one of these bags and uh, So oops, so I know my friend Janet who lives in Indiana uh, Her YouTube is try it like it created. Please go check her out very talented uh, lady, super nice person, uh, and she makes jewelry, she has punch needle embroidery, she's very, very talented, so uh, please check out Try It, Like It, Create It, and the link will be below. And let's see what else I got. I have to say that I was really impressed by this. They had some new linens. These are, and this this must be like a closeout or something. These are from Linen Core Canada. Look at these waffle weave tea towels. They are, they measure 23 by 32 inches. 23 by 32 inches. This is one end. This is the other end. Okay. They had slightly different styles. I went, uh, they had different colors of stripes. Um, I chose the red one, and this is like a creamy co color. It's 100% cotton. I think I've already said that. <clears throat> <clears throat> so sorry, it's cat fur. Uh, it's a waffle weave. I love using this to dry, you know, my glasses and all that stuff in the kitchen. 
and as you may know I'm constantly replacing them because my husband still fails to remember that these are not rags so yeah he's gonna get another talking this weekend so <clears throat> All right, so I got them in red, and I also got them with this black stripe. They had blue, they had green, they had purple. But I chose this to go with my other kitchen stuff. So these are made in India. They are Linen Core Canada for best results. Machine wash and cold water separately. Do not bleach, tumble. Tumble dry low, ironing not necessary. I never iron my tea towels, don't worry. So, yeah. And they also had these packages, again, by Linen Core Canada. Again, uh, made in India product. Again, 100% cotton. These are 12 by 12 washcloths. Now, they say washcloths. They don't specify if they're face washcloths or dish. They don't specify if they're dish or face washcloths. But I'm going to be using these in my kitchen and I will be showing these to my husband and saying this is what you use to wipe up spills spaghetti sauce anything that stains not this this <laughs> anyway so this is pretty good you get five of them they are 12 by 12, 100% cotton. They have textured. I can see these will be great for wiping up spills. Um, what I love about these packages is how they are bundled up. And I will be reusing this cotton tape, this cotton twill tape here. This is really useful in projects and crafting. You can even dye this white ribbon. So this is great value for $1.25. Also, I always look at the crafting possibilities with these things. This is this would make so many fun items, um, so many fun crafting items. You could sew this, you could glue it. Yeah, possibilities are endless, but they're going to be great in my kitchen. All right. Sometimes, sometimes I go to Dollar Tree and they don't really have much that's new. Uh, but I still look around because that's when I pick up things that can be used throughout the year for my projects. And they, I think we're making room for the new fall flowers in, in this Dollar Tree because the, the floral section was empty. And they had stacked all the, the left, what was left of the summer floral in a small section like on shelves uh, so I looked through that and I got some of these little white babies breath uh, some gypso there was only one there was only one of each left so that's why I took them and these mini mums the mini mums they were like a uh, creamy color and I think these are also mums yeah these are chrysanthemums or mums uh, the bigger ones because these I find are really useful in uh, fall crafts as well as summer crafts so they can be they can be used at different times of the year as well as these they could be used all year round for different crafts and a lot of the decor in my home is very neutral there's a lot of uh, whites off-whites creams uh, woods and things like that so yeah so I let, that will go well in the the main part of my home <clears throat> excuse me I saw in the my store is kind of messy right now because they're making they're trying to clear out their invent their summer inventory and make room for the new stuff so I saw these stickers. I first time I see them at my store. I don't know if it's because they're moving stuff around and they're finding stuff. <clears throat> but I saw these Mickey, uh, 90 years of Mickey, Mickey, the true original, over 150 stickers. I am a big fan of uh, Disney, anything Disney, especially all the retro stuff. 
uh, especially anything Mickey Mouse, especially Mickey Mouse, Mickey, Minnie Mouse. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I just thought this was a lovely pad of stickers. Can you believe this? You can get this at the Dollar Tree. This would be, this is so much more. If you buy, if you go to Disney World, okay, and you stop in a, in a store, one of the many, <laughs> one of the many gift stores after you go through a ride. <laughs> um, yeah, trust me. These would probably be like five, six bucks, easy. So, yeah, dollar twenty-five, and uh, and I didn't have to go to Disney to <laughs> get them. So yeah, and look, you get all these beautiful stickers. You get this sheet, and I love how they have these tabs here. So I just think these are such nice stickers. Really, really, really nice. And again, this will be added to my big stash of Disney paper crafts for the darn Disney albums that I am about 10 years late in making, but uh, I am going to have so much stuff for those albums. So, yeah. And then I saw some gift bags, and I guess you know, these are like wine bottle gift bags, but I put other stuff in here. Sometimes I will give um, bottles of uh, bath salts or, you know, bubble baths and stuff like for, I used to do that for the teachers or I would get in the winter, I would give them, um, I would buy some good hand lotion, like, because it's so dry here in the winter and I would, you know, use bottle bags uh, for that and, you know, they, they, they appreciate it. So that's one other thing that you can use these for um, besides bottles of wine or liquor. Um, but I often look at these and buy them for the paper. And this print seemed really pretty to me. And I just thought there's got to be something I can do with this. And I'm just thinking this would look pretty maybe in my planner. The colors go with everything else I have. And the other uh, has pretty rib. All of this can be repurposed into paper crafting, basically. So I got that one. And I also got this one, again, for the paper crafting possibility. But I buy two of each when I see these. So I usually keep one with my gift bags and another one with my paper crafts. And then I go through my gift, my gift bags. No, I don't go through them regularly enough, but when I do, and I say, oh, I haven't used that bag in like, I bought this bag two years ago and I haven't used it. Eh, it's going into a paper craft, so. Oh my God, I really like these colors. Lots of rose gold. And then there was only one of these and it's all feathers all around. In fact, it was a very nice print. There's foiling only on the, the front side here. And this lovely, the, the ribbons are quite nice too. They're satiny and they even have like, so I just, I notice all these details and I just see, um, besides gift giving possibilities, crafting possibilities with all these gift bags. <clears throat> I picked up some of the wood pieces. They are trying to sell these. They, when my store wants things to sell, they move them closer to the front of the store. <laughs> Pretty soon they're going to be outside. I'm there. It's funny how they they work, but it it works for them. When they need to sell stuff, the closer to the front they bring it, the more likely it is to sell. So, uh, but this used to be in the craft aisle, which is further back. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so when they do that, they seem to uncover things too. So uh, I picked up the mermaid wooden blank and this like sign, just for any kind of DIY crafts and, and such. So inexpensive. Uh, come on, a dollar in the US, dollar 25 here in Canada. We can't get that when you go to a big box craft store. A few more staple items that I've bought. They're not new, but uh, they're good to have in my stash. And because there was a lot of it at the store, I decided to pick some up. I picked up this Excelsior. To me, this is great for, of course, tons of crafts, tons of decorating, flower arrangements, fairy gardens. Uh, you could, this to me can be used at Easter for decorations. This can also be used in the fall. Uh, I can see making 
like little bales of hay. So fake hay for, you know, fall decorations, harvest decorations, uh, Halloween. Oh my goodness. So I think this is really good stuff to have on hand if you are into making crafts and decorating. So I got a couple bags of those and maybe I should have bought more. <clears throat> now one thing I bought is these weren't selling in my store. They're still they're they're trying to sell to get rid of them and uh, they haven't lowered the price but because they have so many but I thought you know what I'm gonna buy these people I don't know why people in my area aren't buying these but I saw potential in these uh, towels these hand towels I got the burgundy ones well red wine color because I thought these there's a lot of DIY possibilities with these also I'm thinking Christmas uh, you know you can add a little bit of trim to this put an applique or something make a lovely little towel a little gift for someone I am thinking you could use this as fabric to make little stuffed animals you can use them as what they're intended for hand towels <laughs> so I got those I also got some in black because I couldn't I can imagine making a stuffy a cat stuffy out of this awesome and I also got some hand towels uh, this I had another idea in mind this I was thinking I could make pumpkins with uh, fat stuffed fabric pumpkins so and I thought these would be nice fall colors together so that and that's my thinking uh, back into the floral section, but actually these these flowers That I showed you before were not even in the floral section because the floral section where these flowers usually are was empty So the other garden scent Area that they have in my Dollar Tree where they have the foam and stuff. It was very well stocked So I picked up one of these foam kind of bricks. I also got this like cube one it's a little diff it's a different type of foam this is more of a styrofoam this is more of the floral foam and this one is a craft art foam art foam it's styrofoam as well this this one is obviously so you can put it in water and it will keep flowers looking uh, somewhat alive longer but these are really more as vase fillers and for crafting. So that's, I got these for different craft projects. Don't know what, but I just wanted to have them on hand. And one thing I want to share with you is that uh, I know I come home with stuff and my husband's like, why did you buy that? And I'll say, I don't know. I just, I'm just for crafting projects, uh, decorating, crafting, DIY, something I'll want to make down the road. And yeah, I do that because I I am not the type of person that says, oh, I see something on Pinterest and then I go out to buy the stuff to make what I saw because to me that never works. I'm just, I don't know. I just think that it never works for me. I go to the stores and they won't have, they won't have the stuff I need to make the project. So I keep stuff on hand. I buy stuff in advance. I just keep it stored away. So when I get an idea or I see something on, you know, YouTube or whatever, and I'm like, oh yeah, I want to do something like that. Then I go digging in my storage and I find most of what I need. It doesn't mean that I still, I, I do go to the stores often and say, look for particular things to do a particular project, but I try to have like the basic bases and like these things on hand. So that's why you see me buy a lot of stuff, but I don't actually make anything right away. <laughs> I keep it for later. So another one thing I'm, I just bought to have for later is this floral moss. And this is quite messy. It's making a mess on my desk right here. But yeah, and so I think this is like in a sheet and it's wrapped up. Yeah, because it says it's 67 centimeters. I'm not sure. Oh, no, 
I'm not even sure if this is a block or if it's a sheet wrapped up. It's really hard for me to tell right now. So, yeah, I just picked up some of this for, you guessed it, DIYs. And then, oh, the vacuum. I saw these in the kitchen section. Uh, these are seven inch, and it says on here, I'm not making this up, cork trivet. So uh, basically, you know, something to put under a hot dish, you know, to keep from uh, burning your tabletop. And I know, I, I saw these and I just look, saw the potential that of making these into different kinds of projects. I mean, if you get four of these, you can make wheels <laughs> for a wagon, let's say. Um, you know, you could, you could add some brown pieces to this and make it look like a chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> Just like make a mini bulletin board. Uh, they could be eyes. They could be trivets. So, yeah, I just see potential in these things. So I bought that, them for that. I also picked up the bag of rose petals. You get 300 in here uh, of the white ones. Um, I picked up several bags of this. I do have a home decor idea in mind for this. I, but I don't know how, how many of these petals I will need. I will probably need a lot. And I also need a few other items. Um, yeah, so I don't want to tell you about it right now. Another DIY base that I bought is the silver trays. I buy a lot of these. I find so many different uses for them. Plus, before, before they get altered into craft projects, if we need serving platters for any occasion, event, dinner, whatever we're doing, we have them. So sometimes they get used first as a serving platter and they get washed and get put back uh, in my basement where I have, a, I, have a, I have a shelving system where I keep different types of party wear. <laughs> it goes back in there, but then when I have a crafty idea, I'll go dig it out and turn it into something. So, yep. So it's dual purpose. <laughs> Gets used twice often. Uh, my store has got the peel and stick removable wall tiles that are that look like tin aren't these gorgeous omg i remember wanting to do something like this in um a previous home that we had because i was i loving this look a very country-ish and it would have looked real nice and i had gone to price something like this in the hardware stores where this was basically the only place you could find it and it was i think each piece was like eight dollars eight or ten dollars a piece so yeah finding this uh 10 years later for a dollar 25 i was like i'm picking these up because there's lots of crafting possibilities with these i'm sure so my store only had the silver one here and this style very hard for me to show it to you so you know it's so flashy and then this brass one brass or copper style so i got a few of each of those another diy staple i picked up were the craft by craft medley uh the cork sheets and i think you get two in here or just one i'm not sure uh yeah so these are great for all sorts of projects and I'm sorry I know that uh, the multi craft products are not in every Dollar Tree in the US it's only in certain areas I'm not sure how that works but uh, yeah it, here because I am in Canada and I'm in the province of an I'm in Ontario and I'm actually close to Ottawa explains why we get a lot of products from this company because it's multi-craft is located in ottawa so uh, yeah we find a lot of stuff 
So this video may be uh, edited into two videos just because I, um, I see that I'm taking a lot of time uh, filming this because I'm explaining a lot of things. I'm talking too much, but uh, yeah, I'd rather explain to you my thinking behind purchasing a lot of the prod these products so it, it can inspire you to uh, look at the things that you, you buy yourselves and see multiple uses for them. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my Dollar Tree haul. I hope you're inspired to get crafty. And I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching. I hope, uh, I hope you like this video and you'll be able to give it a thumbs up. Please like, comment, share. And until next time, stay crafty. Bye. <laughs>